have you heard of i think it's called the five intelligence or some shit like that there's like so like um so for example like it's it's like the saying where it's like oh if you judge a fish by how fast it could climb a tree then you're you're the retard or whatever you heard yeah, of that yeah. where it's like of course the monkey's gonna win right yeah so like but if you judge a fish on how fast it could swim it's gonna beat the monkey yeah so it's like um everyone has their kind of niche right so like that is um like spatial intelligence yeah. some people are good with that or like some people are emotionally intelligent or socially intelligent or like whatever <laughs> there's a whole list of it but <clears throat> it might be that like you don't spend time doing puzzles and like you know building so you're just new at it you know it's it, not like you're dumbass <laughs> I feel like it sucks because that's that's just, that's the skill that I really want because I will love Naked and Afraid. But oh yeah! Every time I watch that show, I realize how much I wouldn't survive. There's so much like I think it's like a human innate like. There's such a weird attraction to f just building. Yeah, it's like fuck, dude. I could watch it build all day. Because even in that show, you start to realize who really has a knack and a skill for something. Yeah. So. Um, there's like episodes where you see people in a similar environment, but it's a different episode, but you see people build these things. Like I saw this guy, he built his raft. It was the shittiest looking thing I've ever seen in my life. It was just like, and, and that's the, that's the raft that I would create. <laughs> but there was another episode where another guy was creating a raft yeah. and it looked like something you could buy off a catalog. Oh. Like it, it was so crazy. Like he built a chair on the raft yeah. and then a rudder that you could like steer in it. And I'm like, how the fuck did you make that from these trees in like two weeks? That makes no sense. Like I would have the other guy. I kid you not. This yeah. his. You know what his raft was? It was two logs that were strung together by vine, and he just laid on it. <laughs> and the other guy literally created a raft with a armchair. Damn. Well, I bet you people say that shit about your cooking. Oh, uh, maybe right. So it's like if you were in Naked and Afraid, you'll be the guy that like I'll catch the meerkat and then you cook the meerkat yeah. or some shit. Because <laughs> I wouldn't survive. Like I definitely need somebody to help me get to that point. Yeah. Because I I look at what they do and I'm like, damn, they definitely understand how to use everything in their environment and make the most out of it. Yeah. I would look to them to do that and I would try to see where I would fit. Oh. You know, because I, I, I don't have that type of leadership in that scenario. That's not something that I would be great at. You, you could be the guy that, that passes them the leaves. Yeah. As they, <laughs> they would have to tell me what to do and I will follow those instructions. Yeah. They'll be like, okay, well, we're going to go do this. So what I need you to do is collect dry wood so we could have a fire later on. That's, yeah, see, I'm, I'm the same way, man. Like, I like doing those things, but I don't know. Sometimes I spend too much time on something that doesn't make sense. And then like too little time and it's all half-assed. Yeah. Like, so if I'm building or whatever, like I might be like, ah, oh, fuck it. And I stop it halfway and I start like sweeping the floor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's like half done. Like, and I like, definitely have ADD. Cause yeah. I know, I know from watching that show, like the, <laughs> the, two, the two biggest things is, is fire and then shelter. Yeah. And then after that is securing fresh water. Mm. So that's, that's what you should do. But for sure, the first thing I'm doing is fishing. <laughs> Are you hungry? Yeah, you are like, I'm stranded. All this stress is making me hungry. <laughs> like, you don't have any fire to cook that shit, you dumbass. I was like, nope. Got to do it. And you have to do it before it hits nighttime. Yeah. So you need to secure that fire. Oh, it's going to be cold. Yeah. Secure the fire during the day where it's the hottest. So, and then you just keep the fire going uh, until it's nighttime. I want to learn how to fucking rub two sticks and make a fire, man. Dude, I, you know, you know, the guy, the primitive technology guy, yeah. you, you saw his hands though, yeah, right? Yeah, that shit looks callous. They're callous as fuck. Fuck. Yeah. And that's how he does it with his hands because I know even for me, like just shadow boxing on cement and my both my feet blistered like a motherfucker. You know we have baby hands and skin, like as adults. So um uh, my buddy went to Costa Rica, right? And then he was telling me like there's a tribe out there and he was looking at their feet and then he's like, All of their feet look like dog feet. Like it's black and there's like a thick thick layer and they run around barefoot and it doesn't hurt their feet and i did research about like um like primitive humans back in the day or even today with hunter gatherers and when the british first uh met polynesians like they keep writing about how strong these people are like women will will swim across a whole entire river like with a with a child on their back and then they would go up and then they test like pinch their skin and they're like they have an extra layer 
what they call an extra layer of skin. And then they had thick like calluses and stuff like that. So I think like what humans are supposed to do is we're supposed to build like this layer of strength because we're not supposed to wear shoes. Yeah. Like that's not natural, right? Because I always thought like, man, why are humans so weak? Like if we didn't have clothes and if we like, how would we survive? Or like, how did they survive back then? Like our shoes, our feet so delicate, we would walk around in our, like there's so many rocks and yeah. And, and jagged little plants like how the fuck do we survive and it was like oh if you have that thick callus you could step on those fucking you know those spiky little balls and nothing happens remember that photo i showed you of that that indigenous like the amazon, amazon feet that should look disgusting dude <laughs> <laughs> if that's what my feet has to look like to be natural fuck it <laughs> fuck yeah that. it's definitely because our our feet are kind of placed like if we put our hands out and we put all of our fingers together yeah that's what our feet look like like now we're like modern day feet binding with yeah. shoes and shit yeah yeah and theirs is is very splayed out so it's meant to kind of be very extremely tactile and grab onto things yeah so it's more like uh our, our hand was when it's spread out where the opposable thumb is all the way out and yeah. that's where their their uh their what do you call it the metatarsals or whatever what do you think they do climb trees and shit all day i think what it is is from what it looks like and how they were standing when they was being gripped is that there's there's no flat surface in the amazon yeah so when they're going over rocks and trees and stuff, they're yeah. actually grabbing onto these. So it's almost like hands. hands. You develop the, the hand. It's very uh, primate like. Yeah. You know, which makes me, which kind of creep me out a, That's a bit. That's crazy. Because even though we hear that our, we're very similar to, to primates, yeah. you, like what, looking at those feet made me believe it even more. Yeah. And I even heard, or not heard, I read that. Uh, primates are actually going into the stone age where they're starting to use tools mm -hmm. they're, they're they're creating tools to to to, to get around and break yeah things. they're evolving dude it's so crazy it um they found out that they have a religion now what yeah they believe in something and then there's like a i i, I didn't finish reading the article but it's like they found a, a chimp chimp group or something and then they have like a belief system